YouTube, what's up, what's happening? Here I am bringing you another video today. And I uh, just want to bring you guys a quick video on uh, how to paint RC body. For those of you who don't know, RC body is Lexan and they're clear. Um, and you actually paint these from the inside. Um, and then you peel off the outside and that reveals a nice shiny color. <coughs> but um, and yeah, we're going to go through a few basic steps to show you how to use Createx paint to uh, paint this. For today's exercise, you're going to need paint, obviously. I have three different colors I'm going to be laying on this. Um, I'm going to need a brush. Depending on what you're doing, you're going to need a blade. And you're going to need some tape, of course. And your airbrush, of course. So, got those over here. And we're ready to go. So, first thing you're going to want to do is, obviously, uh, most of these come with window masks already as you can see right here I've already masked off the windows with the included window masks and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first let uh, mask out our first design here and uh, that'll be the actual the last color that uh, we'll be actually painting so what you got to remember with Lexan and painting them inside out like this is that kind of have to work backwards and um, any color you lay down first will be the top color and then you can lay layer other colors underneath so it's fun to get creative and it's different and uh, yeah let's get started so first thing we want to do is we're going to mask off an area for the silver um, and that should be pretty easy So, after we got the first layer done uh, and placed in there, uh, we're going to want to mask off completely one side. Uh, so what I like to use is a quick release tape, such as this blue, blue stuff, clean release, it says right there. Um, and we're going to use this and some paper to cover up, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what side, but we're going to cover up the front side there. Again, uh, depending on how many layers you're actually painting, I mean, you could really mask off and go crazy in here. So, but just for today, we're going to be covering up this front side. All right, now with that one side covered. What we're going to do is come back with our brush, a regular paint brush, a uh, fine tip works good. And we're going to add the small black detail that goes around this side. And uh, again, you don't want to do this without, um, you know, or before you put this black, before you mask off this area because, um, you know, then it's going to smudge the black and stuff. So you want to do it side by side. And again, we're just going to add the little black detail. We're going to brush it in. And uh, that's pretty much that. You can see it's just a regular simple cross-hatch cross pattern as you can see on the back side. We're using kind of the tape as a outline there um, for one side of it. And um, you know, it's just a cross-hatch pattern in there. And uh, this particular design goes uh, metallic blue in the back. So we're gonna put uh, the metallic blue in next. And you wanna start off by doing a light coat. Um, you don't wanna do anything really heavy right at first. You want to kind of get like a, what I would call an adhesion layer and kind of just pack. <clears throat> so after your first initial uh, adhesion coat, you want to let that dry, you know, give it a good 5-10 minutes. And then you're going to come in, you're going to lay a little bit heavier coat. Again, you don't want to saturate it on there. You don't want it 
you don't want it running. You want to be pretty quick, pretty quick about it, but you do want to be liberal with paint, and you want to make sure you get uh, full coverage everywhere that uh, the body is going to be showing. So. Got it on there pretty heavy. Um, you know, you want to give this a good amount of time to dry before you start working on it again. Uh, but it is safe to pull off the mask. You will not be putting any more on you. As you can see, we got the other side. It's nice and clear. There's no blue on the other side. You want to kind of keep that other side clean. And then we're going to load up our red onto the airbrush, metallic red that goes on the front. But before we do the metallic red, we're going to come in and uh, do again the black detail on the brush. And uh, we can go ahead and do that now. Again, you might want to. time to dry yeah, um, yeah but we're gonna go ahead and spray the red <laughs> and again same same kind of pattern we do a really light coat mitch for adhesion let that dry and then we're gonna come in and do a Alright, so once you have uh, both of your coats of red on there, uh, it's pretty safe to pull off the black the tape that we use to outline the black. Again, you do want to be careful as to not pull up the other ledges of paint, depending on how uh, thick you laid the paint on there. You might uh, actually pull up some of the blue or some of the red, so you got to be careful before you start messing with it too much. Here we go. Alright, and once you have that peeled off, um, it's pretty much safe to lay down the silver. Same principle, lay down a, you know, a soft adhesion coat, and then you're going to want to come in and make it nice and thick. Alright, and once you've got the silver on there, <clears throat> um, because these are pearlescent colors, you are going to want to give them some kind of backing. So, you know, even with your transparent colors, you got to be careful. Um, you know, any color you lay behind, a certain other color might overtake it. So for example, if you lay uh, yellow down and you spray red behind it, it might just turn it red. You might not be able to see the yellow because it is transparent. So <clears throat> that is something you got to keep in mind. But for these right here, we're going to lay down some white, and uh, you don't want you don't want to like super heavy it, but you do want it to cover that pretty evenly, um, and that'll bring out these colors, make them nice and bright and uh, it'll stop the light from actually shining through, so we want to do that. <clears throat> so again, just, you know, give it a nice coat of white. Alright, so as you can see, we've got all the white on, on there. Um, and again, it's not super duper heavy, but it's enough to block off the light. Uh, brought out the colors really good. And um, all we need to do now is uh, remove the window masks, and we will lay down a clear coat on this. Um, and that'll seal in the paint. And uh, again, you want everything to be nice and dry. 
before I you start laying clear coat over it. Otherwise, your clear coat might get mushy, or you know, it just you won't get the right the right result. So again, make sure everything is nice and dry before you do that. And uh, yeah. All right, now that you have the window masks out, you want to make sure everything's nice and dry. And uh, want to m remove the window masks before you lay the clear, as the clear is going to seal around these areas here and as well as everywhere else. But that'll keep it from coming up in these areas along the edges. So again, you don't want to you know, go too heavy on it. You don't want it to create a, a super thick layer on top. You just want it to be uh, protective of the the other paint and you want it to seal so the reason we use createx and createx works pretty good for this is the createx uh, forms a flexible kind of paint it doesn't really dry up super duper solid so um it's nice and uh, flexible for the lexan body so when these take the beating and i have seen these take the beating uh pretty hard and uh, they last you know really good so I haven't actually seen one where the paint actually failed or anything like that, so that's why I recommend oh, but using Creative Text. Yeah. <clears throat> but after that, that's it. You just lay some clear and you're good to go. And there you go. Once you have that all cleared up, there's your RC body right there. And as you can see, it's nice, shiny, um, you know, got the design in there, and uh, it's ready to hit the track. So you just mount it onto your RC car and you're ready to go. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you paint an RC body using Createx paint. Um, let me know if you guys liked the video. Hit that like button, hit the dislike button if you dislike the video. I don't know why. Helps me out either way. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.